class and welcome to the final discussion of our American Entrepreneurship Since 1900 class. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about the, ri the rise of Gold's Gym. Gym. Gold's Gym was started by a bodybuilder named Joe Gold. Uh, his only dream was to open a gym in Venice, California and that's exactly what he did. He opened the gym one block away from Venice Beach, or as it was called then, uh, Muscle Beach. And in 1965, Gold's Gym International was born. Joe's Gym had a simple slogan, No Frills Gym for Serious Weightlifters. By the late 1960s, Joe's Gym acquired the reputation that if you're going to train to be a bodybuilder, you train at Gold's Gym. Soon, bodybuilding champions from around the world started coming to Gold's, some of the most Famous bodybuilders of that time trained there. One of the most uh, famous bodybuilders that most people know about is Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, but Joe didn't hold on to his gym for very long. Even though he was attracting some of the biggest names in, bod in bodybuilding, during this time, bodybuilding was a hobby that had a very small group of competitors, and the gym itself was slowly failing. So in 1970, he sold the gym for $50,000 to Bud Dan Danitz and Dave Sachs. The sale of the gym didn't stop the following of bodybuilders that Joe created. Then in 1975, a movie called Pumping Iron was debuted. This movie made instant stars of Arnold Schwarzenegger and Lou Ferrigno. And what gym was featured in it? You guessed it. It was Gold's Gym, and over the next few years, Gold's Gym changed hands a couple more times, and it wasn't until 1979 when Pete Grimkowski, Tim Kimber, and Ed Connors bought the gym for $100,000 that changes started to happen. They franchised the name, and in June 1980, Ed Connors became the first Gold's Gym licensee, opening a Gold's Gym in San Francisco. By 1981, there were over 5,000 gold gyms in the U.S. When the 1990s rolled around, being a member of Gold's Gym was like a, like a status symbol. Gold's Gym was to fitness that McDonald's was the fast food. By 1993, they had over a million members in all of their, in all of their gyms combined around the United States. In 96, Gold's Gym crossed the pond and opened franchises in Europe and Asia. But unfortunately, this type of popularity doesn't last forever. In 2020, Gold's Gym ended up having to file for Chapter 11 bankruptcy, mostly because of the shutdowns during the coronavirus pandemic. Today, there are only 234 locations left in the United States which is a small percentage of where they were back in their heyday. But thank you all for watching. I look forward to seeing everybody's comments in the discussion board here. And best of luck to all of you in the future. Have a wonderful weekend.